Injury to the eye can be very damaging, though the solution to saving one's eyesight may be in one innovative device. Dr. Mike has tonight's health report. For 16-year-old Curtis Thomas and his friends, one Saturday afternoon back in April of 2004, the plan was to have a little backyard warfare playing paintball. But what was supposed to be a few hours of just boys being boys type fun turned into tragedy. In between rounds, Curtis suffered a devastating blow to the eye and nearly became blind. He wasn't wearing any protective gear at the time. At first, I, my eye went completely numb. I didn't feel it at all. And I didn't even know it hit me in the eye. Looked at it in the mirror and I realized that it was pretty bad. Curtis's left eye would never be the same. The natural lens inside his eye was partly dislocated and the iris of his eye, which is what regulates the light getting in his eye, had been severely damaged so that his pupil was completely dilated. And so he always had a maximum amount of light getting into his eye. And he had a lot of glare symptoms, a lot of uh, sensitivity to light, and a decrease in the quality of his vision. Then he developed a cataract. But he has not only a cataract, but the support mechanism of his eye, of the lens of his eye, is also damaged. Curtis's poor eyesight was robbing him of his teenage years, preventing him from enjoying his passion for sports, and made school a tremendous challenge. My vision has been slowly degrading. It got hard to see the board at first, and uh, sometimes the light in the rooms will give me like a headache, so I have to like close my eye or hold it closed during class. Curtis and his family bounced from doctor to doctor, desperate for answers on how he could restore his vision. He finally met with eye surgeon Dr. Kenneth Rosenthal, who determined that Curtis was a candidate for a rare procedure called an iris prosthesis. This is a new device that we have been fortunate to be able to use for patients who have these injuries that takes the place of the natural iris of the eye. To date, there have been nearly 2,000 iris prosthesis procedures performed around the world. In fact, it's not yet FDA approved, but clinical trials are underway. The actual device is made out of a substance similar to plexiglass, flexible but rigid enough to go into the eye and maintain its size and shape. The procedure can take anywhere from a half hour to an hour, but depending on the severity of trauma to the eye, up to three hours. It's been just a few weeks since Curtis's surgery, and he's already back shooting hoops. The first thing I noticed once I got the surgery was that colors were more vibrant. Like, in, you see more depth out of things with both eyes than you would with one eye. It's a lot easier to do things now that I can see out of both eyes. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen. For more information on this and other health stories, go to our website, wb11.com slash Dr. Mike. Now to these stories making news around the world tonight in Britain.